Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Hey, man, listen, man. Check it, man. It's your boy, E-C-E-O. What up, baby? And I'm Money Moses, by the way, and we create content every damn day. Hey, man, listen, this is our prime time section, man. This, this is what we doing for prime time. We jumped on here, man. I'm also, I guess I'll drop this on Boss Talk 101 as well. I'm going to drop it on both. No, you can put the real on Boss Talk. I'm going to put both. I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop it some kind of way because they need to hear this information, man. Because this, we don't, we can put a review this. Man, this Cat Williams got everybody, everybody come back and say something. It's been a lot of people say things, joke about different things that 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 uh, Cat Williams said on that Channel Sharp Club Shay Shay interview. So I, let's let's listen in on. I think last night uh, Michael Blackston he got a little get back on it. So let's let's check it out and see see what he what what was said. Yeah, Let me see here. I mean. This is how you end up with a Michael Blackson, who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, no, don't. Uh, this guy is mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis, I see and I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you're going to say that, you got to go to Africa and get a school, dude. Everybody got, you, you got to put in some work. And these guys they take my advice they change their whole persona and and then they hate me for it and generally i'm just too big to comment or make a statement <laughs> think about it what what you think about what how how Michael Blackston uh you know how he came back how he clapped back at at the situation the way he did it was perfect because like I said he did it as a, as a comedian it was yeah. what he was supposed to do I think he the first one to really do it and not become emotional while doing it he was yeah. emotional the next day I don't think he was emotional on the set like no, when you look set. at Dave Chappelle he was kind of out of character when he was doing it they was trying to stop him from talking about it. He had got pissy drunk. Then when you look at different people who said stuff back to him, they was they was all, you know, they kind of upset about it. But, they was in their feelings. But when you look at the way he responds, he responds on the stage, I think that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I think that's something that, that's the way you should respond. He was more comfortable with it. Yeah. I don't, like I said, do they keep responding to it? Because, like I said, it, it's already... Uh, Dude, what does that do to comedy and no, other comedians? No. Let me tell you how I look at it. I think Cat Williams threw all of them at the hoop. They just looking at it wrong. Every last one looking at it wrong. Because if you're in that industry and your name hasn't been been said in a long time, he threw you at the hoop. Take it and run with it. Whether it's good or bad, run. Because if you ain't been, if you ain't been, if they ain't shit out of you in a long time, say, hey, now's your big time. Say, hey, this is my time to shine. Use it for your social media platform or whatever and go. What did you think about, you know, Faison, my boy? What did you think when you seen him say, you a fat phase on lie and all that. What did you What did you think about that? You know, that's our guy. He comes through. He always doing interviews on Boston. Bro, I laughed. I thought about you first. Why? <laughs> Why did you think about me? Every time I call you, like, uh, uh, phase on. I just got the phone. Phase on love. 
and he, he did this, he did this, he finna come on the show. Then as soon as that happened, I just I just bust out laughing because I knew you try to get on the phone call him. Well, I knew you yeah, yeah, him. we definitely talked about it. And, um, the thing is, man, like like this industry, you know, these these guys are all good at what they do. Um, and and you and you sit back and you see the things that happen. Even when Country Wayne just went in on him, it was a thing where. Um, it was like, dang, you know, they keep bringing his name up on Club Shay Shay. You would think that Shannon Sharp would go and get Faison and let him, you know, speak his piece. Mm -hmm. You need to. But he hasn't done that yet. I don't know if he's reached out to him or what. But that would be the perfect, you know, that would be a perfect uh, scenario. I think you know? he, he need to get all of them. Shay Shay need to get everybody he talked about and sit down and talk about and get everybody all of them and put a clip together so everybody can see it. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be that would be amazing, man, to go on and just solve it like that. So, hey, man, listen, man, um, guys, man, you know, let us know. Get in the comments. Let us know what you guys are. Uh, let us know what you guys are thinking when it comes down to uh, Michael Blackson and the way that he uh, retaliated on or the way he came back uh, on. Uh, um, Okay, okay, Williams. Williams, man. This is crazy, man. Thank you guys for watching the channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to Boss Talk 101 and Boss Talk 101 Prime Time. Check it, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.